Second green. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the love to captive delivered? But us hear the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am the Savior, and the Redeemer, and the Mighty One of Jacob. That's Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 to 26. That leads us to point number two, the heavenly plan for the captive. And the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, which brought forth your fathers out of Egypt, and made them dwell in this place. That's for Samuel chapter 12, verse 8b. Now listen to this. The Almighty God is faithful and is very much willing to free you from mental captivity, social economic captivity, household captivity, direct demonic captivity, and communal captivity. You can assess his freedom if you are ready to be freed now. Now, when the Israelites were maltreated in Egypt, they called on the Almighty God, whom their father saved, and responded to their prayer by sending Moses and Aaron to deliver his short help to them. We shall be looking at divine help is on your way. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 3, Then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. As Moses and Aaron were sent to meet the needs of the Israelites in the captivity, so shall we receive our divine helps, starting from today, in Jesus' name, amen. We shall be looking at the Almighty God sent help to King Joachim and change his social economic status. In 2 Kings 25, verse 28 to 30, and he spake kindly to him, that was the king of Babylon, after 38 years of the imprisonment of King Joachim, and he spake kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were before him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments. And he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life, and his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king, a daily rate for every day, all the days of his life. The Lord touched the king of Babylon. After 38 years of imprisonment, he touched the king, and he went to King Joachim and brought him out, changed his garments, set his throne above all other thrones around, and then put him on allowance, on daily allowance, all the days of his life. King Joachim was a king of Judah at some point, and he was taken to captivity, as I told you before. And then he did not only free him, he treated him well and put his name on the payment roll of his staff with quality access to food. In the same country, King Joachim was taken to captivity. The Almighty God used a national leader to give him freedom and alter the statues to a royal treat. How about that? Wherever you are right now, listen to the sound of my voice. If you're in captivity, the Lord is saying, in the same country where you are being in captivity, whether mental captivity, whether household captivity, whether socioeconomic captivity, whether direct demonic captivity, the Lord will free you from that captivity and establish you and change your entire status. That's the prayer, and the Lord that will be in Jesus' name. Never mind. Whatever captivity that we are hedged in, the Almighty God is able to deliver and set us free in Jesus' name. What is required of us is to look up to Him and be really focused. His timely intervention will be experienced in Jesus Christ's name. We shall be looking at receiving the divine help for the weapons of our welfare are not carnal. Almighty drew God to the pollutant of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that resulted in safe against the knowledge of God, and bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. That's Second Corinthians 10, verse 4 to 6, when Moses and Aaron took the message of the Almighty God to the king of Egypt to let his people go. He had a word of instruction of obedience for the same people. It was to set free, especially at the point when the death of the firstborns was to be unleashed upon the land. Obedience to the Almighty God gives birth to his presence and intervention. It is important that we understand the oppression of the Almighty God, the process of deliverance from any captivity. The captive must be willing and ready to obey the instructions of the Almighty God. If we must be delivered, we must be willing to do away with all known sins. Immorality online and physical, consumption of alcoholic beverages, smoking and longer trafficking, seed of discord, so showing or stealing, slandering, malice keeping, evil speaking, public and private twerking, 
online and physical examination of practice, private and public deprivations of the less privileged and so on. As we prepare our hearts for the deliverance, it will certainly come through for us in Jesus' name. We have received your diluted word now. I just told you about it. The deliverance of King Joachim after 38 years. I just told you about the infant man by that pool. After 38 years, God did it. The same God was manifested in the New Testament that delivered that infant man 38 years. He did it many, 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 many years. In the Old Testament, as recorded in the books of Ezekiel and Isaiah, and it's recorded also in John. In the New Testament, they say Almighty God delivered the 38 years in faith man, delivered the king after 38 years. And after 38 years, he delivered them. He will deliver a day old captivity. He will deliver the permitty of 38 years. He will deliver the permitty of 90 years. That same God, the same yesterday, and today, and forevermore. If you have listened to the word of God now, not my words, if you have accepted that word in your heart right now, without having a second thought, that the Lord who did it many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, delivered King Joachim 38 years of imprisonment, and then delivered and faint man by the pool 38 years, that same God is here today. It will deliver you. It will deliver us. It will deliver any, anybody listening to the sound of this voice across the airwaves. And if you believe that the word of God has touched you right now, why don't you just open your mouth freely, thinking about anything, and say, Lord, I need a deliverance right now. Lord, I need a deliverance right now. Lord, I need a deliverance right now. Lord, deliver me from this mental captivity. Deliver me from this direct demonic captivity. Deliver me, O Lord, from this household captivity. Deliver me, O Lord, from the family lineage captivity. Deliver me from this bondage. Because he sees it already. He, you know it already. He knows it already. Open your mouth willingly right now and you surely do it. He will surely do it. And before you start opening your mouth still, you need to talk to the Lord. If there's anything your heart is telling you you are not doing right, say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. And I promise you, after now, I will do it right. Lord, 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 have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. You must pray sincerely before I pray for you. If you don't pray sincerely, nothing will happen. You must pray sincerely before I pray for you. If you don't pray sincerely, nothing will happen. Pray sincerely. The word has come forth. The Lord that did it thousands of years ago to deliver King Joachim after 30 years, years of imprisonment. He delivered that woman, that man, by that pool 38 years after. 38 years after. 38 years after. It's just symbolic. No matter how long the time is, it's able to come through for us. He did it for that King Joachim. He restored everything he lost and gave him benefits. So much benefits like he did. He's in business today and he's here today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Lord, anyone has prayed a prayer of repentance sincerely, write it to our name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, because I know that you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen, amen, and amen. You say after me now, Lord, I come before you. Forgive me my sins. I promise you heartily right now, I won't go back to my evil anymore. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you pray for the deliverance right now, Lord, and say, Lord, you that delivered King Joachim after 38 years of imprisonment, I delivered the faint mom by the pool after 38 years. Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You were the Almighty God in the Old Testament, you delivered King Joachim, and you are our Lord Jesus Christ in the New Testament, you delivered the faint person 38 years. Lord, 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 I've been famed for 38 years. I'll be faithful for long, for this long, for this long. Open your mouth now and say, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Open it right now. As you open your mouth to talk to the Lord, then you will see the manifestation of the power of God in your life. You will see the manifestation of the power of God in your life. You will see the manifestation. You will be delivered from every captivity, every captivity of death. Maybe there's a death row in your family, and at so-so and so time, the person, child uh, is targeted to die. Or as such, as such, such a person is infamed with this kind of disease or the other. Whatever it is, whatever it is, open your mouth now. The deliverance is here. The deliverance has come. It will visit you here. It will visit you tonight. It will visit you where you are. In Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. Put your right hand upon your heart right now. Father, in Jesus' name. You are the almighty God that delivered King Joachim. That he was taken to captivity. To Babylon for 38 years. 
and lodged your torch, the king of Babylon. He set him out of prison and restated him and gave him all the benefits for his lifetime. Lord, you were the almighty God who manifested yourself in the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then that pool, after the man was in faith for 38 years, and then you came and you delivered. This God the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That's your principle. Lord, you are there. You are the same in the Old Testament. Centuries later, you are still the same. Till now, you are still the same. Lord, you that delivered as a specialist of delivering people that from age long bondage, Lord, deliver your people now. Every voice listening to me now is therefore declared delivered. Delivered from mental captivity. Delivered from family lineage captivity. Delivered from household captivity. Delivered from direct demonic captivity. Delivered from agency of the devil captivity. Whatever captivity of the devil, whatever forms it is, social economic captivity, we are thereby declared delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, you touch the king of Babylon. And he came to Kidroel Shesham and, and he took him out of the prison and resisted him. And as the pool of God, you delivered that man at the pool and he was free totally. Lord, you deliver your people. Wherever they are right now, wherever they are right now, you'll meet them. Tonight, they'll be visited. There will be a personal encounter and there will be total deliverance in Jesus' name. Deliver, Lord, in Jesus' name. Deliver from car accidents. Deliver from failing health. Deliver from the captivity of the devil. Deliver from death in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know that you have answered. Deliver from every crippled thing in the lives of these people in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know that you have done it. Lord, you will do it. Lord, you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Thanks for listening to the message. The blessings await you as you obey and pray along. For any inquiry, partnership and prayers, please check our YouTube page for contact as you click on the select icon. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to be notified on upcoming videos. And do not forget to share. God bless you.